Hi, I got a 2000 Silica GT and something happened to my car. Let's go under the car and take a look. Hello there, tongued up here. So today I was doing an oil change and I noticed something. And under the driver's side wheel well, it's kind of soaked with oil. I thought I have a bad shock, but checking a little more, I noticed my axle is leaking. You can tell it's leaking right there, right by where this clamp is. So, I guess I got another job to do, and so I guess I will need to replace this axle. So, to remove the axle, this is some of the tools you need. Um, you want to get this locking nut out of there and on the bottom you can tell it's being pressed in here to keep this uh, bolt from backing out so you don't need to pound it out all you need is a, a one one fourth socket with a breaker bar and an extension so what you're gonna do is put it on here and you turn hard enough oh I always spray some penetrating fluid in there too to make it a lot easier so if you turn high enough this will actually spin out even with that part being pressed in I already loosened it already so uh, there you go. You got the nut out. And it's best to leave this wheel sitting on the pavement or something that keep it from spinning. So when you turn it, you won't put a lot of stress on the gear in the transmission box. And while you're at it, loosen up all the uh, the lug nuts. I loosened them already. Um, all right, let's take this wheel off. So went ahead and removed these two 70 millimeter bolts and removed behind the cal big caliper, removed this 40 millimeter bolt, I removed these right here and I got them hanging up here. So that's all you need to do is just remove that and uh, and after this right here, spray the penetrating fluid in here and bang with the hammer. I should loosen it up. There you go. It's all loose. And take it out. It should come right off. You can tell it's coming apart. Just you make a more make a little more room. Need a little pry bar. There you go. And uh, I should grab a oil pan on the bottom so you might get a little transmission fluid coming out when you 
pull the uh, hexo out. It should slip right out. A little yank. If not, then go behind it and pry behind the uh, right by the uh, next to the transmission as you pry it, it should come right out. Okay, I got the axle out. Um, once you pull it out, the uh, transmission fluid will leak out. So we'll make sure you have a oil pan to catch all the oil. Um, pulling out sometimes works and most of the time it doesn't. So what you're gonna do is uh, put a screwdriver and catch it on this area here and bang with the hammer and it should slide right out. And uh, let's take a look compared to the new one. Here's a new one. And that's an old one, and you can tell it's a little different. Here, I think this is for the ABS, and it should be no problem. Um, I was told that the trans, um, the automatic one, automatic transmission, and the stick shift, they are a different type of axle. So make sure you get the right one. So this is where I got mine, and this is part number for um, driver's eye. And the part number for the uh, pageant suicide. And our plans to replace the seal too. And these are the OEM Toyota seals. Okay, I got the uh, old seal out. And what I, I tried to use the, uh, the seal kit tool to remove it, but the handle's too long, I couldn't use it. But it came with a spare one, so what I did is I put onto a vice grip. It's a little shorter. I was able to went in there and pop it right out. And uh, compared to the old one and new one, they're identical size. And uh, I'm gonna use this PVC pipe and I'm gonna put it back in there. Here's the driver's side seal. This is part number. This is what it looked like. And you will need, this is a PVC coupler and is a one and a half inch in diameter. And it's a perfect fit. This is what you need to install the, the seal back into the transmission. So I got the seal in. What I did is uh, I went to add another piece of pipe, plastic pipe to the connector to give me a little length to uh, drive the seal in. Once the seal is in, I got the axle in pretty easy. You slide right in there and just click and that's it. Now we just need to put it back together. Oh, just reverse the step and uh, assemble it right back together. And uh, just use this witness mark as uh, as a guide to put the right back where it's supposed to be. And uh, I'm not gonna do an alignment check until I replace the other side. Get everything done at one time, so an alignment twice. Put everything back. And don't forget to uh, top off your transmission fluid with Toyota Type 4 fluid. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you.